Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. What is that rumbly sound? Oh, a thunderstorm. Cool. Alright, we don't care. Yeah, we're gonna make a building tool, make just like a main hub uh, to live in, and put some storage and some. <sighs> some storage and we need some copper, which we never have. Some storage, a battery charger, and whatever else. Um, last time we went deeper into the Twisty Bridges area and found aliens, which was a big deal. They're now living in our brain, so it went well. I didn't expect that at all from uh, just such a close to where we are location. I'm getting the impression more and more that this game is much more vertical than it is horizontal compared to the last game, where last game there was a lot of vertical, like you could you ended up going down pretty deep, but most of the variety was outwards, so you spent a lot of time going horizontally, but this game seems like it might not be as big um, outwards, but it seems like there's a lot of downward movement, because everywhere we've gone so far has always had deep tunnel systems below it. So, what does that tell you, huh? Okay, that's four copper, that should be good. Um, someone told me you can make the sea trucks mods, you don't have to get any blueprints, like for the first one at least. Um, so, I guess you'd make that at the modification station, right? So that's another thing we want to do for building the base. Uh, copper wire. Building tool, cool against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module, no fun. No fun? Let's put it a little further out this way. Because we've kind of picked this area pretty clean, so let's put it like here. Yeah, there you go. There's a nice view. And like any good place of living, a door is highly recommended. Let's put it... <sighs> I don't want to like... Yeah, might as well. I was going to say, I don't want to come right out into the the deep dark, but... That's how it's going to be. Warning. Uh, Emergency power uh, Oxygen production offline. That shouldn't be there. Okay. We're going to do solar for now. We'll eventually, obviously, upconvert to something better, but... Uh, from humble beginnings there's some more quartz dude I hate when it's just ugh the icebergs are honestly like we're not expecting them to be there they're so they're so big which actually brings me to something I wanted to say oh hell yeah jackpot um this is something some of you might be opposed to and that's okay, but that's what I wanted to ask. Um, obviously, I love playing Subnautica, and I want to keep doing it. But I thought about... There's a subreddit on Reddit uh, called Philosophobia, and I thought of doing like a video where I kind of go through it and kind of react to some of the posts. Because that's real life. Like, videos and pictures. Not a game. Real life. Um, and I've, I peeked at it a few times. I used to browse it like maybe two years ago when I first found it. Um, there's some horrifying stuff on there, so it'd be kind of nice to do a, a non-gaming video. I don't know, might be fun. If you see it, click on it, because my little heart will shatter if no one watches it. Okay, we got solar power. Uh, power. Um, but it's dark out, right? So that doesn't do anything. Uh, let's put storage. Put big storage here. Let's put another one right here. We really don't need two of these right now, but it'll be good for. Frick! I'm already out of titanium. It'll be good for keeping ourselves organized. That's what I was gonna say. More. Man, now that I want titanium, everything's copper.
Okay. The uh, plant coming up to the middle of my base might eventually bother me. But at the same time, it's kind of cheeky. Okay. Yeah, no, I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and finish that one. Battery charger, copper wire, wiring kit. Jukebox. Computer chip, diamond. Okay, so we need to get diamond. Yay, we got power. Fiber mesh, copper wire, wiring kit. It's interesting that, yeah, the, bat, the ion cubes have like a charge meter on them. Okay, we're doing that just so we can have stuff to... Room to bring everything over here. Say goodbye. Oh, I left the lights of my C truck on. Do I ever learn? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't really want all this though. Let's leave this for now. Let's leave the flares. If we're gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave the other eggs. Fred shaving kit, I believe for now. I don't know if it's just like a joke item or if there's actually a purpose to it. Uh, let's leave. Might as well. I know it's another egg, but oh well. But doing. Okay, good. The battery's like not that much different. Hell yeah, boys. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Uh, we're not going to make this immediately, we're going to make it when we come back, because I'm not going to go out to grab one silver and then come and then back. So we're going to go do our adventure, grab silver while we're out, and then we'll build when we get back. And then maybe we'll find a diamond. Who knows? Today could be the day. Um, five mesh would be nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a bunch of these materials away. We're, like, not hurting for batteries, so I'm not, like... Too worried about it. Uh, you guys can go in there. And this, for now, will be miscellaneous junk. Let's bring one beacon with us, just in case. Uh, let's put some of this stuff up on the wall. It's a big one. Sick. Okay, uh. Last thing we're gonna do before we go. Snack time. Make two more batteries just because better to have more than not enough. Okay. We got four. We're chilling. We got food and water. We got our truck. We still don't have a repair tool. Okay, we're going here. We're going here. And we're gonna go down. Don't mind me. Okay, which materials in these? Is it silver? Come on. Silver, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yikes. It's weird that they'll like charge you, but they won't like go all the way. It's like they're just trying to scare you or something. 
sometimes it works. Okay, I am unfortunately very aware of the... I'm still a little fuzzy on where exactly we've seen the red Leviathan. I really should figure out what it's called. Um, but I know it's somewhere that we kind of were taken by surprise a couple times so I'm like like it's it's somewhere around here ish relatively safe, it's just these guys and the uh, mesmers everywhere. Although, obviously, it's not safe down here because of the freaking squid sharks, but one step at a time, right? Okay, so we're gonna go down. Are we, though? We have to. Okay, right here. Parking our boy right here. We have a rebreather, so we have a true like two minutes worth of air. So a minute down, minute up. Hive mind? I'll definitely be reading about that. Okay, mimics. Wait, did I say Mimic? Is that what they're called? Mesmer. Okay, there's air down here. We are gonna get lost. I could feel it. Okay, we got a gel sac. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. The big issue is gonna be finding our way back out. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the bigger problem. This is weird. I don't think you're really supposed to swim here. I think you're supposed to take a vehicle in here. Oh, Ruby. Oxygen plant. Open. Oh, it's presented. We did it, though. Ruby. Ah, uh, we're gonna drown, aren't we? Time to go back. The music in here is kind of sick. Exosuit thermal reactor module? Okay. Let's do the same thing again, but let's get above a different portion of cave so that we can uh, get some variety without having to risk as much air. Squid sharks are creepy looking, but they're kind of cool at the same time. They're imaginative. This tentacly beast and whatever the hive mind thing that's really... Depth Interesting. Okay. I know. We're good. Okay, let's do it. I don't know where the cave we're going to go to right here is, but we're going to check this out. so happy if we found diamond but since we found ruby here it makes me think that we will not be finding diamond as well this is so weird it 
That's so weird. It's like a disease almost. I mean, I mean, I don't know, but it feel it, it's very like infection looking. It could just be growth. Oh yes. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Crap. We're gonna have to go this way though. We're gonna drown. Stay. Come on, baby. Yikes. That thing was going for the kill, dude. Warning. Okay, so we got rubies. That's helpful. I do think we're going to need to get the uh, mod for this before we can do anything too crazy. I have determined the location oh. of some important technology. Oh. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we, whatever we did in there triggered the next thing, so it was worth it. Alright, big boy. Okay, Architect Artifact X3J? If you say so. Also, I'm kind of staying wary of, like... Of, like... How in the first game, they kind of set you up for one big scare early on. Because they make you go to the Aurora, and the only entrance has a very aggressive Reaper near it. So they kind of like, they kind of set you up for a good spook early on. So I'm waiting for, I mean, that, that last location with the Squid Shark, that could potentially be one. This is totally gonna be it, dudes. I don't know, we're in the kelp forest now, though. That was getting scary. We might be okay. But yeah, I'm kind of wary of them specifically putting me in a situation to spook me. Okay, this looks good. Nope. I don't know. It looks kind of good. It looks like it ends, though. Let's get some silver while we're here. Alright. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we've already got this. I knew that. Okay, we're close. Oh, there better be air on this thing. It's directly below us. Yeah, okay. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know technology you would still acquired. me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. You say quantum locker? Makes me think some kind of locker that we can access from everywhere. Alright, not bad. Good haul. Leave me alone. 
Alright, let's head back. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? My people are able to gain understanding through the network. It takes much of the uncertainty out of communicating. You think but that's you're the view better than me, don't you? It builds trust. People choose to let you know that. We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if Dude, I could read my colleagues. Alan sounds like a but big nerd. Thoughts? This helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? What do you Imagine think? a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. Wah, wah, dude. I think I felt a hint of them when we came across that artifact. If we find more, I Welcome might be to able to get a stronger sense. <laughs> nice. Thought so. Quantum locker storage solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers. That's huge. That's super handy. Because you could just plant one here where it's safe, and then plant one in some key areas. And then put, I don't know, a bunch of food and water in them. Or something. Okay, cool. So we got... We're working on the propulsion cannon, working on the laser cutter. We'll need to make that. Which I think that we have the stuff to make it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Wait. Yeah. It's weird to use crystalline sulfur for a friggin' repair tool, but... That's how it be, huh? Okay, let's put that on. Alright, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. This game is... kind of spicy. Um, we'll do some more base building next time with the materials we got. We got stuff for a battery charger and that sort of stuff. So we'll do some... Uh, do some appliances next time but uh thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time